Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this right angle with rhombus earrings. They could easily be turned also into a bracelet if you continue this work more and more and you could make a beautiful set for yourself. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step and I'm also providing this pattern so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. They are done with the easy technique if you're not familiar with it, the right angle width. It consists of crosses of four beads next to each other. Uh, if you have any question, you could always ask me anything in the comments. By the way, you could skip this intro if you don't want to listen to it every time because now I have timestamps, but I have a few words to say. First, if you want to see more videos like this and make beautiful sets for presents and for yourself, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell if you still haven't. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads. You could definitely use 10 or 8 beads for this project, they all work. These are earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size as 0 0.14 or 0 0.16, it's up to you. And you could use fire line if you want. This is a pattern that I did and that you will see all the time during the tutorial here and here at this corner later so you will be able to follow it and make it. This is size 10 beading needle. You could definitely use size 11 or 12 as well to be easier. And uh, these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And before I start, I wanna pay attention to this pattern. You see this is a pattern of the stitch right angle width. If you're not familiar, don't worry. What it represents are crosses of four beads connected together in a circular motion. Here is, ignore the colors and just see them. Here is one, here is a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth and a sixth. And then you have another row, which also consists of six. It starts from here one, two, three, and so on. If you're not familiar, don't worry because I will show it really easy and slowly. And how we start, we start here with the first four beads taken in a cross. Okay, there are two blacks and two yellows. And by the way, these crosses share beads. I will show you later. You see this first cross shares this yellow bead with the second cross. Okay, so I will put it aside and make this first cross. I'm taking two black beads and two yellow beads. Okay, now I have this. I'm going to slide those down almost until the end. Okay, and I will go back through all of those beads like this. And how do I form a cross? It's easy. I close it like this by going again through those beads here. Okay. Now, what I want to do in this first cross is that I want my tail thread and my main thread to meet. So I'm exiting here through these two yellow beads. And what I want to do next is stick my needle in my mat. And here I want to take my tail thread and make a knot with my tail thread and my main thread. Okay, how I make it, I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then maybe even do one more knot. Just to be sure it's all tight and secure. 
okay and now guys I have this first cross of four beads okay you see and it is absolutely the same like in the pattern here two blacks and two yellows you see a mini version of the pattern okay now I need to do this cross which is yellow yellow black black but I should go out of this yellow first okay and as I'm here, I'm going through this yellow. Okay. And you will see the pattern also here. And now I need two yellows and two blacks, but I already have one of the yellows, so I'm taking only one. And then I'm taking two black beads. And I go back like this. Okay, you see according to the pattern I have the first and the second cross and now it's time to do the third cross. And how I do this, I should reposition my thread to exit out of this black bead and add two greens and one black. And why I add three beads? Because here I already have one bead added and when I add three I already have a cross of four like before. So what I said is that I should reposition my thread to go out first of this black bead here. And then according to my pattern, I should take one black and two greens and go again through this one. So I'm taking one black and two green beads and I'm going back here through this black one. Okay, now I have my first three and again I'm repositioning. Okay, I will stop like this just to see them and compare them to the pattern. Okay, you see? Now, what I want to do is reposition my thread and exit out of this green bead. And then what I have here... I'm exiting out of this green is green and two black beads so I'm taking a green and two black beads it, it will be really easy if I was making those crosses with only one color of beads but it's not that difficult to follow this pattern you see here I should add three beads to make a cross and in order to do this I will also need to add some color to it. So I'm here I'm exiting out of this black and what I need to add is a black and two orange beads. I'm exiting in this direction now. So I need a black and two orange beads and I'm going back through this black one okay and I have this then I'm going through this black and through the orange okay and I'm here you see these two orange beads are added. I'm here and I need to and I'm exiting in this direction, you see, downwards this time. And I need to add orange and two blacks. Okay, this is what I have. Don't worry that now it looks like this. It will start looking really better. Okay, and I take two. And I go back through this orange like this. Okay. I pull a little bit. Again, don't worry, it looks like this. Now I'm going to start my next row. And in order to start it, I should exit out of this orange bead here, this one. 
this one is this one and then after I exit out of it I should add two blacks and one orange okay I'm exiting out of this orange and I should add two blacks and one orange okay I'm adding three because here this orange is already there and now pay attention here something is different I will go again through these two blacks that I just added and I will also go through this newly added orange here because here is where I'm going to start my next element from okay this orange pull tight okay so let me see in the pattern what comes next okay now I did this cross and now I need to do this cross but these two orange beads guys this one and this one they are already there this is from the previous row and this is from this row so I'm just going through them like this just going through them not adding anything new oops I have this first element ready it's really cute and then I need two blacks two black beads and I'm going back again through these two orange beads to make my cross this time I'm adding only two because two of the of this cross are already there okay I have this these two and these two form a cross my second cross here this is the first and this is the second cross and this one here is this one okay now I'm going to reinforce now let me see where I am at my pattern oops sorry I turn it the wrong way uh, I'm sorry uh, this is correct up to here but now I'm here sorry for that I just turn it the wrong way uh, you should go like this because they are the same in both directions. only the colors are different and I turn it the wrong direction uh, okay this is true up to here and now I'm up to the green part and you see here I'm exiting out of this black here this one and what I want to do is go through this green and add a green and a black okay and as I'm exiting out of this black you see where my thread is I'm exiting out of this bit I'm going through the green one here you see I'm going through the black and through the green and what I need is another green and another black and I go back just like this okay now I have the second color almost ready but I will exit through this bit okay now let me take my pattern here uh, what I have is this cross which is this green this green and these two blacks and now I'm exiting here so I need in this direction I'm exiting this time so I need to add two blacks and uh, go through this green as well and uh, go back and exit here okay so now I'm taking two blacks and going here And now as you see I'm going in this direction that is why I should reposition and go out of this black here okay guys and now as I'm exiting of this black you see this one I want to go through the yellow 
okay this this and then I want to add a yellow and a black okay I'm going through the yellow here now my thread is going through two of the beads of my cross of four which are this black and this yellow and I now I need a yellow and a black and I'm going back like this okay now I have the third colorful element ready and I want to go through this yellow now I think you could guess what I take here since I have these two yellows I need two black beads to finish this cross okay and you could see it here also at this corner and I'm going like this and like this and I have this row here guys ready so how do you continue the next row you should go out of this black bead This is the next one you should go out of, this one here. And according to your pattern, you, you need black and two yellows. So I'm taking a black and I'm taking two yellows and I'm going back Okay, like this. Now, what I need to do next is go out of this yellow here, go like this, go like this, okay, and now I'm here at the second element and uh, when I exit through this black here, I need a black and a yellow. I'm exiting out of this black. And I need a black and a yellow. And I'm going through two. Through the yellow and through the black. Because they're already there. From the first row and from this neighbor element. Okay, so I'm making all the time crosses. But they intersect each other. Okay. okay guys and now uh, you could see it's all the same it's like you're doing this row here just follow the pattern and everything will be okay here you should add two greens and one black and go out through this one okay and continue this if you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see how I do the first rows and just learn how to follow this pattern because you will need it in future. Okay, I will finish this row and this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm up to here at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. If you could follow the pattern and you still haven't done this, just pause on the pattern and continue following it. If you are a beginner and you cannot follow the pattern, just rewind the video and uh, repeat this step uh, that I did from here to here. Repeat it two more times and you will have this element at the end. Now, there is an additional step before I turn this into an earring and I just wanted to tell you that if you continue this, you will have a nice bracelet. Uh, if you make it long enough like this, you could wrap it around your wrist. Okay, so now I'm showing earring. Tell me in the comments, do you want me to show a bracelet? Okay, so now I'm going here through this black bead and I'm going to be adding edge beads. Okay, this black. This black. This black. 
this black and again okay and I think you get the idea this row is really pleasant and really easy so do this and meet me here okay guys and I'm here at my last gap and I'm adding my last black bead from this row if you're making a bracelet it is the same way you finish the bracelet at the end okay so now I'm taking an earring here earring finding and I'm going to take one black bead my earring finding and one more black bead just like this this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back in circle through this bead at the edge okay you must close this part here really well because you don't want your thread to go out of it when you are doing it without a jump ring okay and now i want to reinforce this part okay reinforce it several times and when you're ready go somewhere to make a knot okay choose a place okay let's say this place is here and i'm making here a loop i'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from I go through the following beads and I cut my thread okay guys and now my right angle weave earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more similar videos it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorial matching the old ones and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorial you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me